Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice square root problem from here? What is given here? We have 7 raised to the power x root of we have 27, then square root of 9, then square root of 3, square root of 3 equals to 2 power of the 3. From here, when we have something of the form, n root of a, this can be written as a raised to power 1 over n. And when we apply this to this side, we can write this as 27, then root 9, then square root of 3, square root of 3. Now, this 7 raised to power x should become 1 over 7 raised to power x here, which is now equals to 2 or 43 on this side. Then from here, let's remove this power here that we have, which is 1 over 7 raised to power x. So from here, we multiply both power by 7 raised to power x and also multiply this power by 7 raised to power x. And from here, this power here, since we multiply this, we cancel out and we have 27, then square root of 9, square root of 3, then square root of 3, 9 equals to 2 or 43 raised to power 7 raised to power x. And from here, let's represent 7 raised to power x here with the letter. So let's c be equal to 7 raised to power x. Then from here, this equation cannot be written as 27 then square root of 9 square root of 3 square root of 3 now equals to we can write this as 2 or 43 raised to power c now then from here we can square both sides of this equation here when we square this side this becomes 27 square this square will affect 27 and it will affect the square root of 9 then square root of 3 square root of 3 then also we square this then also we square this side as well since we are squaring both sides so this becomes this power multiplied and we have 2 for the 3 raised to the power 2c from here then here this power cancel out cancel the square root then we have 27 square then times 9 then times root 3 then root 3 equals to 2 or 43 raised to the power 2c then next step as well let's square both sides again we square this side and also we square this side then the square here will affect 27 square and that's 2 times 3 here that's 4 that's 27 raised to the power 4 then times also 9 square then times square root of 3 root 3 also we square this and uh, on this side this power we multiply and this gives us 2 for the 3 raised to power 4 c and also from here we have this square cancel this square root and what we have here becomes 20, 27 raised to power 4 times 9 square then times 3 then times root 3 equal to 2 um, for the 3 raised to power 4 c then from here also, we can square both sides again from here, then we square this side, also we square this side, and here this 
square will affect here. 2 times 4 here is 8, so we have 27 raised to power 8. Then times here we have 9 raised to power 4 now. Then times 3 square. Then times root 3 square as well. Which is equal to here. This power multiplied. So we have 243 raised to power 8c. And here square cancel square roots. And what we have here, we have 27 raised to power 8 times 9 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 2 then times 3 which is raised to power 1 equal to 243 raised to power 8c then let's change everything to base 3 then here we can write this as 3 raised to power 3 3 multiply itself 3 times that's 27 then raised to power 8 then times also here we have 3 square that's 3 times 3 which is 9 then raised to power 4 then times 3 square here then times 3 raised to power 1 equals 2 also 2 for 3 here we can write that as 2 raised to power 5 now this 3 multiply itself 5 times and which is raised to power 8c and here we have 3 raised to power 24 then times 3 raised to power 8 then times 3 square times 3 raised to power 1 equals to here this multiply we have 3 raised to power 40 t and from here we have seen this on the law of indices we can sum the power then we have 3 raised to power 24 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 3 raised to power 40 c then from here we have 3 raised to power when we sum this we have 35 then equals to 3 raised to power 40 c then since we have same base here we can equate the power and we say 40 c now is equals to 35 so when we divide both sides by 40 we have 40 cancel 40 here then c equals to here we can reduce this and divide through by 5 this will remain 7 over 8 then from here recall that c represented as 7 raised to power x then it means from here we have 7 raised to power x equals to 7 over 8 then here let's take the log on both sides then here we have log 7 raised to power x equals to log 7 over 8 then we apply the power law of log a when we have log a raised to power b the same thing as b log a that is b can come to the back here so similarly here we have x log 7 now equals to log 7 over 8 then we can divide both side by log 7 here that is divide this by log 7 also divide here by log 7 and this cancel each other and we have x now equal to log here when we have log a over b we can equally write this as log a minus log b so what we have here then becomes log 7 minus log 8 then over log 7 then we can separate this into two fractions and this will be log 7 over log 7 then minus log 8 over log 7 then from here this cancel out and become 1 then we have x equals to 1 minus here we can write this from change of this when we have log a over log b this can be written as log a to base b so from
on here we now have log eight then to be seven and of course here we can also express log eight and simplify it and say this log two raised to power three that is to multiply itself three times then from here we apply the power law which means we have 3 log 2 as log 8 so here we can of course write this as x equals to 1 minus 3 log 2 to be 7 from here so here we have the simplified form for the value of x here to be x equals to 1 minus 3 log 2 base 7. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget this steps. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if you have another way of solving this, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. And see you next class. Bye for now.